this is what we got. They just released a new cover for the smaller superchargers. This is basically um, what you would call a massively improved ported new volute cover or blower housing, whatever you want to call it. And it is much better than the original stock unit. What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. Just wanted to do a quick little video and talk about a new product that Torque Storm just dropped on the market. All my Torque Storm supercharger guys out there, definitely gonna wanna stick around to see this, especially if you're running the original 75 millimeter unit. So, Torque Storm just put out a new upgrade for the original smaller superchargers, the 75 millimeter units. So, for all you guys running those, you're definitely going to want to see this. So, we're going to get straight to the meat and potatoes and talk about it. And I have one right here in my hand. This is what we got. They just released a new cover for the smaller superchargers. This is basically um, what you would call a massively improved ported new volute cover or blower housing, whatever you want to call it. And it is much better than the original stock unit. So for starters, the inlet, as you can see, the inner dimension, the bore is much, much larger. Um, the outside bore is still the standard size. Um, I believe it's the three and a half. Um, the outside diameter has not changed, um, but what they have done is basically ported or hogged out this cover to where it flows a lot more air. And the inlet is a lot larger, as well as the outlet has also been increased on the inside diameter as well. Outside diameter is still the same, um, I believe the dimensions for the actual housing is more or less the same. So I don't think it's going to be a matter of it takes up more space in your engine department. Um, it's more or less the internals of this thing is more or less what you'd call ported and just has a bigger inside diameter, more or less. Simple upgrade. Uh, basically, you are more or less removing the V-band clamp and uh, removing the old unit and putting this one in place of it and then putting your big V-band clamp back on the correct way. Now, I'm sure you could probably send your supercharger in um, if you want to get it freshened up and probably have them install one of these for you if you don't want to do it yourself. Um, I'm sure you can contact them and get in touch with them if you want to buy one. Do it yourself. I'm not sure exactly what the price is on these guys yet. Um, they just got them out and they are pretty much out there for testing right now. But what they do know per some of their dyno testing is one, um, intake temps has decreased. And that is mainly because of the fact you are flowing uh, more air and it's flowing easier it's not as restrictive since it's got bigger inlet bigger outlet so you're able to flow more air also boost has increased um so that is a plus there now i did do some measurements against one of my uh, smaller superchargers that we have on uh, like project storm and zorro the challenger that we just put a blower on and like I said, the outside diameter, I don't have my micrometer here. That'd be the best tool for this. But the outside diameter has stayed the same. As you can tell, it's still more or less three and a half inches outside diameter, um, which is the same. That hasn't changed. What changed is the inside diameter. And you can see, like I said, this is not the best measuring tool, but 
we are about three and a quarter inches inside diameter now. Um, and when I measured that against a stock factory housing, um, that was actually coming in at around three inches. So basically a quarter inch of material has been removed from the inlet and the outlet. The same thing goes here. Um, about a quarter inch of material has been removed from the, the inlet and the outlet all the way through the housing. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, I definitely think this was a great idea and I'm glad they came out with it. Definitely stoked. Um, so we are going to test this thing out and actually get some track data with this new housing. Um, what we're going to do is on Project Storm, which is the 2012 blue Ram 1500 four-door truck that we race. It has the original 75 millimeter uh, Torque Storm smaller supercharger on it. Um, so what we're going to do next time we get to the track, hopefully soon, because we all know we want to see this thing go and I haven't had time to get out there, but we are going to run Project Storm um, on the original housing and blower where I'll make a pass and then we're going to switch the covers out at the track, okay? And we're going to try basically back-to-back -back passes um, with old cover versus new housing. And then we're going to do the same thing with the Challenger that we just finally got the supercharger installed on, Project Zorro. Um, we're going to run the run this Challenger with the factory housing. We're going to install this housing and see uh, what we pick up or gain. Um, but we should gain a little bit better intake temperature control, hopefully, and also perhaps a little bit more power uh, because we may gain a little bit of boost. And even if boost isn't increased, CFM should definitely be increased. So we're going to be able to move more airflow. And that is the magic trick is you're just trying to move air. Boost is not, <laughs> not necessarily important as far as numbers go. You're trying to move air and bigger holes move more air. That's that simple. So um, stoked to try this out. I'm glad Torque Storm did this. Um, you know, they're not giving up on the little guys out there that has the original superchargers. They're still out there helping us. They're still out there trying to better their product, um, which is better than most. You know, a lot of people, they'll just make a product, come out with a bigger one and kind of force you into buying or upgrading to those bigger units. But they're still out there trying to improve their workhorse, which is that very first blower they came out with guys. So again, Torque Storm is awesome. Um, never stop improving their stuff. And this just goes to show they're still out there helping us guys. So stay tuned. Hopefully between Torque Storm, myself, and some other people testing these out, we'll get some numbers, get some data on them, and hopefully see if we can actually pick up a pretty good gain by just swapping out these blower housings. But now that we've went over the new product Torque Storm dropped, I know a lot of people has not seen the truck on the channel lately. And if you knew, you may not have ever seen it, but this is my 2011 Ram 1500 that we just built. Uh, myself built a fully forged 392 because um, we finally blew up to 5.7. So we have a fully forged 392, pretty much all our parts from MNX to build this motor. It's a BGE block. Um, I am using FRP Flying Rhyme tuning. And we have a Holly High Ram on this truck along with the TS-84 supercharger. And we're running a 3.1 pulley. And this thing gets down. I know a lot of you guys that follow the channel already know what's up with this thing. But for those just tuning in, this is the truck. This is the, uh, this is the new beast. So, um, while back on my stock 5.7, we ran the TS-84 that you see right here. Um, and we was pushing 20, 21 pounds of boost with that blower on a stock 5.7, guys. Yes, we did it. Uh, we ran it like that for almost an entire year before I finally popped it and blew it up. And uh, that 5.7 took 
took a lot of abuse, but we put down a 10 flat second quarter mile time at 134 miles an hour in a 4,600 pound truck that still has interior and is still more or less a daily driver. Um, we made it happen, guys. This thing got down and we made a stock 5.7 block really haul the mail with a torque storm. So now that we've blew up the 5.7, this is our built 392 that I built myself. Uh, like I said, this is a fully forged engine. This thing should be capable of a thousand wheel or just over that very easily. And we are stoked to try to hit the track here soon. The weather is getting just right. We should see nines very easily with this setup and uh, just even more room to grow. It's going to be it's going to be nuts. So stay tuned. And again, we're all here. To talk about Torque Storm and the new awesome product that they just dropped. Let you guys see that one more time. There it is. Like I said, contact them if you're interested. If you have one of the smaller blowers already and want to upgrade to that, I'm sure they can get you fixed up. So do me a solid. Give video a thumbs up. Share the video. Comment down below what you think of this new awesome blower housing torque storm just dropped. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned because we're going to go racing soon. Trust me. I know a lot of you guys have been blowing me up, commenting. When are we going to see the new motor run and what kind of numbers we're going to put down? It's coming. I'm getting there, guys. Just hang tight a little bit longer. It's been stupid busy for me lately between work, YouTube channels, work, life, all kinds of craziness. Um, it's just been nuts. So I'm going to come out with another video here soon, just kind of going over and updating a lot of stuff that's been going down so get your butt off the couch go out in the garage grab a wrench go work on something do something quit being a potato we'll see you guys on the next one